Hi, this is Tani Gutierrez and this is another Pimp Your Mat mini vid. Today we're using the resistance band for your push-up. So um, there's a whole you know, concept of overloading a muscle to get an over-release or overloading the muscle to gain strength a little bit faster. So this one's for your plank and your push-up. So I like to use the wide resistance bands because you just get better wrap with them and you get better range of motion, a little bit healthier muscle as you build it. This one, you're going to use it like a little shawl, okay? So it's going to go around the back of your shoulders. Navigating it can be kind of tricky, especially with the rounded ones, because it will roll and zip right off. But you're going to grab it and wrap it and put it in your palms for your plank position first, okay? So as you press, you're going to have to figure out how much resistance can I really hold in this position. This is a, a lighter band, so I can choke up on it a lot. But if you've got that black extra heavy one, Maybe not so much. So from here, press your upper back into the band first so it feels kind of hooded and a little bit rounded. Then from here, take one leg out and then take the other one out. If you need more support from your back or just for your body, take the feet wide, but press and round through the upper back so you're pushing into that band. If you're like, okay, cool, but I don't feel much, then you're going to choke up on it even further to give you more resistance. It should feel like the band is trying to pull you down as you're pressing up. So it takes a little bit more strength, a little bit more awareness, and a little bit more attention. So press, 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 press through here. This is something you can do to gain strength. You can do it five seconds at a time and build to 10, 15, 20 until you're up and holding this for a full minute, okay? Tailbone tucks under just a little bit, lift through the waistline, shift your body weight back in towards your heels, and really push into the band. It's gonna feel rounded in your upper back. That means your upper back is engaged. If it's down here, it's really no good. Three, two, one, give it a little rest. You can stick with the plank position and just hold it. It's gonna get your plank stronger faster because you've got resistance on you. Then if you wanna do a little bit of push up with it, you could do a modified version on your knees, tuck your tailbone under. From here, your push up would be down and up. You can't go all the way down only because we could, it just may zip off of you, okay? And you may need to just really worry about the control of where the band is going. If it's a full one here, you might take the arms a little bit wider and then just go down and really push through it at the top. Down and push through at the top. One more like this, down and push through at the top. So you may only start with one of those and build your way up to 10. And then when you go back to your regular push-ups, it feels much more free and not as hard because there's nothing pulling against you. So for full-length workouts with me, um, 30 minutes, brand new every three days, pimpyourmat.com, and I will see you there on the site.